Alright guys, so I just decluttered my um what do you call it? My my basket, which is a stacking basket that I use for all of my pedicure stuff. You see how big this basket is? This is a huge basket. Now, if you know about Target baskets, this is what I minimized it down to. So I went from that big basket to this. And now I still have all my pedicure stuff in here. Hold on. Minimized down to this and more organized. Um, and if you recall, I had a thing in my bathroom that was huge. I think like six shelves. It was about, I want to say... 30 inches tall by two feet wide and it was full of polishes so i just took polishes out of here i'm sorry guys I feel like i'm getting like a little summer coat i got rid of all this stuff i'm wearing this to goodwill this is all stuff i'm getting rid of these are little things when i do eyelashes i don't do them as much because i try not to do stuff that i don't really recommend and that stuff pulls your eyelashes out so this is where you put like little glue on and, and you hold it on your finger Sorry, I got like nail polish on my finger. Um, and that's easy access for you to get the glue when you're doing false lashes. And these were all the baskets that were inside of there taking up space to organize so-called the stuff in there. I made this bag because my sister said she wanted this. So when she comes, I'm going to give her this. I had like three of these. But since I bought a little case here that has everything I need in it, I don't need all these utensils. So... That's my little case. And I have too much acrylic. Um, I got one here. One there. Um, I'm going to test them again to see which one I like better. Because I'll be getting rid of the one I don't. I really uh, I gave my daughter in college several of these. And I still have quite a few left. I think I have this one. This is a stamper that I never used with the scraper. Never used it. Um... I don't know if I'm planning to, but I couldn't get rid of it just yet. But I figure if I don't use that in the next six months, I'm getting rid of it. And these are more stones that I would use on nails and feet and stuff like that. I took my bottle of um, nail polish acetone um, remover and put it in here. I keep that on hand when I have stubborn nail polish, but I usually like to go with the natural stuff. And I have another bottle of that in the closet. My nail thinner, my alcohol for when I'm doing designs. And I also have this, which I think I'm going to get rid of too. Because um, it just spilled. And I just cleaned this. Do you see that? Ugh. So then I got some cotton swabs and some separators just in case. My little drill thing and the connectors for it. I got like two of them. One here, one there. Foot scrubber, foot scrubber. Lots of files. And... You know, you guys seen this stuff. And I love my toe separating um, pedicure socks. And this is the towel I keep in here because if I make any boo-boos, I can just rub stuff on there. So I'll be getting rid of these. Probably going to, oh, that's why, because it was open. Probably going to stick these inside the Goodwill box as well. Um, someone can have that stuff. So yeah, um, I went from that to this. And this is just me sharing the different things I'm purging in my house. And let me also show you, I it's actually like 2 o'clock in the morning. And I also, and I just slide this right here underneath my bed. And I get it when I need it. I also went into my daughter's room and I purged stuff that she's not using. Um, the bubblegum machine, the top is here. Um, this thing I got her for Christmas. She's not using it. Some kid can actually use that. Some pom-poms, a little cape for dressing up um this is some other stuff boxes and stuff i don't use i mean i'm utilizing the stuff no need to keep the boxes so i'm going to recycle that products we don't use that are empty or almost empty i'm going to clean the bottles out and recycle those sorry it's dark but in here is where that other basket was it was sitting here and it was for hair products we don't use a lot of hair products I try my best not to just be wasteful. So if it's stuff in here that we could possibly use, once we use it, I will never buy it again because we use a lot of my natural products and hairsprays and stuff anyways. So um, I'm going to definitely uh, not be rebuying. So I minimize that down to this small one. These are my containers that I put my flossers and different things in. I got to go get some flossers. Um, these are baskets with like... 
uh, shavers, uh, miscellaneous little containers. Actually, my little bags. You see the twist ties. I got to get some more Dollar Tree um, trash bags. And these are just gauze and um, band-aids that I actually don't need to keep in there because I do have a medical basket that I need to um, rearrange. And I also need to rearrange these. My daughter is just go and grab and just keep it kind of uh, wacky um this is a box of miscellaneous stuff uh that we have in the house but it's like taking up space because it's not a lot of stuff in here so i'm gonna go through this basket and when i do i'm gonna share that with you guys as well and up here i have my linen sprays that i love with my iron in this basket and there's actually a that doesn't go in there so yeah and then over here is like um dyes and brushes and developer and stuff like that which i'm going to be clearing out um and cleaning that out as well but yeah that's kind of what it's looking like at this moment just kind of trying to minimize it here we have the listerine i use for my feet my pedicure some cotton swabs and extra two brushes that we don't use we just get them from the dentist and pile them in here for guests because we use spin brushes um so yeah guys i'm trying to minimize my life and get things more in order and um i'm just going to be sharing that process with you guys so if these stay empty i'm not going to find something to put in them if they stay empty then i will be removing what we don't use and actually i think this one right here will probably get removed we don't really use hairpins we really don't so that might get emptied out and what might happen is it just might be one with flossers in it don't know for sure yet but we'll keep them for right now and what i'm doing is making mental notes of what i'm doing and then in a couple months i'll see what we use and what we haven't used and get rid of what we're not using so that basket freed up space and looks more cleaner in here and yeah so i hate when rizzy fold the towels look how she fold the towels y'all <laughs> all right guys so this was the other basket and i put all the random stuff that i haven't worn recently and i don't think that i will wear um anytime soon in this basket like extra tight socks and all that stuff i actually had some friends come by and they got um several pairs of tights and stuff from me i got two big old t-shirts i don't even know why i'm keeping them because i'm like extremely big i don't know why i'm keeping these i think i'm gonna get rid of these these are sexy when i want to be sexy one day for the hubby they're um fur anklets um so yeah I don't even know why I'm keeping these two t-shirts. I really don't. I need to let go of those. <sighs> so, yeah. Um, that's it, basically. I'll keep them in here. Now, I had two of these. This is where I used to put my t-shirts and stuff. Um, so, I had two of these under my bed taking up space. See how big they are? These are huge. So, I had two of them taking up space. And I minimized the stuff um, by putting it in a drawer. Let me show you what I did with that. All right, so I took all the t-shirts. These are my t-shirts out. And there's about two missing that are in the laundry. Um, my scrubs, I fold them up in little small squares and put them back there. I only have one, two, I think I only have about five bras. And um, one of them I'm currently wearing and the other one, two are in the laundry. And underneath the bras, I have my two nightgowns and one of them is currently in the laundry as well. Then I have my underwears where I put in here. I kind of fold the current underwears, which are all in the laundry, on top of those. These are just footies and all my socks. That's it. I don't have a whole bunch of socks. These are footies that I wear around the house and all the socks that I wear. And that's it. This is my little drawer. And uh, I love it. It's not a lot. And I my goal is to get more minimal um, in my home. And... Um, and just sharing it with you guys because I'm a woman who had a whole room with nothing but shoes, scarves, bags, and belts. And I'm trying to minimize my life and it feels so freaking amazing. And every time I do something, I'll try my best to share that with you guys. So now this basket here is going to be used for things that I don't use. And actually, I think I'm going to take it out of there. What I'm going to do is probably get a box because I'm going to return these back to Home Depot. There's no need for me to keep these. These were like 12 bucks a piece. It's crazy how high they were. And um, I'm going to get a box and I'm going to start throwing stuff in there that I don't use. If I don't use it in 90 days, it has to go. So that's kind of how I'm going to be 
minimizing my life and sharing it with you guys. So I will talk to you guys later, Gators.